If you wander into a British woodland in late April, early May, you may well be confronted by a carpet of blue. Bluebell woods are always a crowd pleaser. And in fact, the National Trust has set up Bluebell Watch so people can track online where you can find and take photographs of the best bluebells. If you look carefully, bluebells actually change colour. They start off a rich cobalt blue like this, when they're young and fresh. But then towards the end of their flowering, they become a pale powdery blue, heralding that summer is just around the corner. The common bluebell is a protected woodland species. It's at risk of people illegally digging up the bulbs and picking the flowers. But it's also now threatened by the introduction of the Spanish bluebell. The Spanish bluebell is robust and vigorous. Sold as a garden plant, this species is now producing hybrids with the native bluebell population. Native common bluebells have a sweet scent and a slender stem with narrow bells that droop to one side. The petals curl back, revealing white anthers inside the bell. The Spanish bluebell has a thick upright stem with flowers all the way around. The bells are wider and the anthers are blue. The hybrid bluebells can be tricky to identify as they have characteristics from both parent plants. While the Spanish bluebell and its hybrids are all very beautiful, the survival of the delicate native bluebell hangs in the balance. Long may their scent fill the woodland air and their fragile beauty continue to inspire those who visit our ancient woods. <laughs>